Hi, this is Maya Blaney for Disrupted Magazine. Um, and both my parents came from pretty, like, humble beginnings and were both, like, not poor, but, like, didn't really have that much growing up, but both went on to get, like, Ivy League educations and be the first of their kind to do that. I mean, the first of their family to do that. Um, and so I've always kind of, growing up, like, had this, this mantra of, I'm if I want something, I'm going to make it for myself. And that's something that my parents definitely taught me growing up. That it wasn't that it would be impossible for me to have. It was just that I actively had to be doing the things that I needed to do to get what I wanted. So. My zodiac sign is Virgo with Moon and Pisces and Sag rising. Being a black woman, what does that mean to me? It means being me. And it means being beautiful. And I think more so than what it means to be a black woman in terms of stereotypically, like, I think there's always this idea of what does it mean to be black in America? What does it mean to be a black woman in America? And what's very special about, about me coming into my own in terms of my blackness and in terms of my womanhood is the fact that I get to write that narrative for myself every day and that I can be my own representation of it. That I don't have to have the exact story of another black woman in America, that she can have that story and that I can have mine. People that inspire me would definitely be like Eric Badu, Solange, Beyonce, Lauren Hill. Um, there's this new artist called Charlotte Dos Santos, who's really, really cool. Um, Stevie Wonder, there's a bunch of music all, I think all the music that I grew up listening to in the house is, all had a very specific sound to it. Like my parents were big jazz people and really into neo soul as well. And so it kind of was like the sound of my childhood. Like old, those old records and stuff like Sarah Vaughan and, and Miles Davis. And uh, definitely looked up to those artists in, in the ways of how they made me feel so comfortable with myself and with my family because it just reminded me of having dinner, it reminded me of being with my family out on a trip or something because we'd just be playing it in the car. Um, and other than music, I think obviously like Angela Davis, like Maya Angelou, just like pillars of women. Definitely. If I could change one thing in the music industry, it would be the need to put music into a single genre. Um, specifically for like Apple Music or SoundCloud, um, I don't really make music with the intention of of it fitting into a certain genre because I it, I think it's always gonna sound like me and I don't fit into one genre. Um, so yeah, it would definitely just be that that I just sound like me. Ten years, in ten years, hopefully, I'm just happy. <laughs> and surrounded by people I love and trust and respect and that my life is filled with empathy and music and good food and love and traveling and that I'm financially stable. <laughs> For real. <laughs>